Hello everyone, Adam Furtado here, co-founder of Photo Nerds, and today I'm going to bring you a video, Smart Objects, Episode 2. Uh, in the previous episode, I talked a little bit about what smart object layers were and why I like to use them in just about every single photograph that I edit. And today I'm going to show you a little bit more on smart objects and how I'm using smart objects in order to make multiple adjustments inside of a photograph. So let's jump into Photoshop and show you what I mean. Okay, here we are inside of Photoshop and I have the same image up that I used in the last video. I've already made a duplicate of my layer and I've already converted it to a smart op. I've also already gone into Camera Raw Filter and made uh, one adjustment from the previous video. So what I'm gonna do is double click on the word Camera Raw Filter here under layer and that's going to go ahead and open up the camera raw filter dialog the reason this works is because the layer has been converted to a smart op now when i look at this photograph in particular what i'm looking at is the sky and maybe i want the sky to have a little bit more blue and a little bit more pop but what i don't want is i don't want everything to be adjusted for example if i come in here and i move my vibrance up it's not only going to make the blue bluer it's also going to make the building's more vibrant. So I'm gonna double click on that vibrance button and reset that back to zero. Instead, what I'm gonna do is grab a targeted adjustment tool, head on over to my hue and saturation layer over here, and now I'm gonna click on the blue and drag up just to add a little bit more saturation. I'm gonna to go to luminance and do the same thing, and that'll just brighten up the blues. I'm gonna click OK, and there you have it. I've made that adjustment. Now that I have the blue in the sky looking the way I want it, I'm going to duplicate this layer so that I could start working on the actual building. Maybe enhance the shadows, maybe brighten up the whites in this picture, some of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer here by right clicking in the blue and choosing to duplicate the layer. And when I do so, you'll see that I have layer one copy and the filter camera raw filter is also been applied well I don't want this to be applied in this instance because I don't want to affect anything else so what I need to do is rasterize the layer so I'm gonna right click on it and choose rasterize rasterize to me is just a fancy way of saying I'm gonna take what once was a super layer and make it a normal layer kinda of like back in the day when Superman uh, fell in love with Lewis Lane in the movies and he didn't want to be Superman anymore. He wanted to be a normal guy. Well, I just made this super layer uh, Clark Kent, so to speak. I don't know. It's just a random analogy. But uh, once I rasterize the layer, I can then go back and convert it back to a smart object and start the process all over again. So I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And now what I'm going to do is make an adjustment just for my building. I'm going to grab my targeted adjustment tool, go over to my HSL layer, and I'm going to pull the luminance up on this building and make these whites a little bit brighter as you can see here. There we go. If I hit the P for preview mode, I can see the before and after on this effect. I'm going to simply hit OK, and there you have it. Now if I toggle this adjustment on and off, you can see that I have one adjustment for the buildings and another adjustment if I turn this off another adjustment uh, for the sky there you go I'm gonna repeat this process one more time this time for the shadows so I'm gonna right click on the layer and duplicate it I'm going to right click on it again to rasterize it and then I'm gonna right click on it a third time and convert it to a smart object and then I'm gonna go back to filter camera raw filter now in this instance what I want to do is grab my targeted adjustment tool go over to HSL and I now want to maybe make the shadows a little bit darker so I'm gonna click on the shadows and maybe drag these down until I like it maybe even head over to the basics panel and again maybe drag my shadows down a little bit you can clearly see though if I hit the P for preview button that not only is this affecting the shadows, but it's also affecting that blue sky. I'm gonna simply hit OK. So now that I've made this third adjustment for my shadows, I need to bring back my sky. So all I have to do for this is make a selection of the sky. I can do this by clicking on Select, 
choosing color range and picking on the blue sky here adjusting my fuzziness to get it just the way I want it select OK and then go down to the bottom of the page and add a layer mask now unfortunately right now the layers in the opposite direction so I'm simply going to invert it by hitting command A and there you have it so now if I were to toggle on and off this third and final layer you can see that it's only affecting the shadows in the way that I wanted everything else is pretty much exactly the way it needs to be so this is just one quick way of showing you how to use smart objects for multiple adjustments we had to throw in a little mask on the back end of this but you could see how using smart objects gives you the flexibility to change your mind and when you're using multiple layers with multiple smart object layers you can actually have the ability to do creative edits in different parts of your photograph with the flexibility of changing your mind later so this is using smart objects you give it a try see how it goes leave a comment down below if you're having any troubles i'd love to answer these questions for you if you have an idea for an episode you'd like to see in a future segment please leave a comment down below i'd love to make a video for you uh, to answer your questions we'll see you next time